Shalom. Okay, so I'm doing another testimony. Um, I have did so many testimonies, but I want to tell the world what Jesus has done for me and how he delivered me. And I am just so excited and I can't deny it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Jesus is so good and I want to tell the world. Yeah, how the Lord has delivered me and he could deliver you too, but like I'm nothing without Jesus though. Like I am nothing without Jesus. Without Jesus, I'm a worm. So I just praise my Jesus and Okay, so let me get to it. Okay, so when, okay, I struggled since I was 14 with masturbation. And now I didn't know, I didn't understand, like, because, you know, I was very cardinal. Um, like, you know, back then when I was in um, my 20s and, um, like, I didn't understand, though, like, you know, because I wasn't woken up in Christ yet. I didn't have a personal relationship because it's, it's, it's about having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. We have to have a personal relationship with Christ. Church doesn't save you. Only Jesus Christ saves. And it's all about having that personal relationship with Christ, seeking him. Um, and, yeah, it's it's not about going going to a building and you know you're not saved um truly saved if you think you're just going to church and you just you know give the lord a little time no it's about having that personal relationship with christ walking with jesus who is god walking with him talking with him praying without ceasing you know bringing everything to the lord talking to Jesus, you know, having a conversation with Jesus through the whole day, you know, through your day. Like, that's what I do. I have a personal relationship with Christ. I talk to Jesus. I walk with him. I, I pray without ceasing morning, noon, and night, you know, and, and when I have problems, like when there's problems arising, I take it to Jesus and I talk to him about it. And then he brings rest and peace to me. And that's what you need to have. That kind of relationship. Um, so when I woke up in Christ um, years ago, and um, the Lord, you know, woke me up and um, he baptized me with this Holy Spirit and fire supernaturally, um, and then the Holy Spirit came to me and told me everything to repent of, everything to renounce and turn away from. And because, you know, the fear of the Lord started to come into me. Um, and one day I, I you know, because you always have to read the word. You have to read the word, stay in the Bible, read his word. Um, because that's where... You know, that's how you get strong in Jesus. That's how you will get a renewed mind and get a mind like Christ. And I started to read the Bible, you know, nonstop, studying it. And the Lord gave me the scripture, if your hand causes you to, send it, to cut it off. Now, when the Lord gave me that scripture, the fear of the Lord came into me and I knew right away that it meant masturbation. I was so scared, I almost passed out. I'm not kidding you. I almost passed out because I was so scared because the fear of the Lord came into me and I didn't want to disobey God. I didn't want to hurt Jesus no more. I didn't want to do this wickedness no more. And so then I started to, you know, repent and renounce the masturbation. And I remember I took it to the Lord in prayer and I kept telling the Lord and begging him, please, Jesus, take it out. It's disgusting. It's gross. Take it out of me. Deliver me. And I was pounding on my stomach and showing the Lord that I really meant it, that I wanted it out of me, that I wanted this, this demon out of me, 
you know, and I wanted to turn away from this wickedness and I meant it with all my heart. And all of a sudden I felt the demon just rip out of me. I, I'm, I'm not kidding you. It's really, I'm serious. Now I get so excited to tell this um, because of what the Lord, how he has delivered me. It was, oh my goodness, it was so amazing when the Lord, he just, he delivered me. He ripped that demon right out of me. And oh my goodness, I felt so amazing. I felt like, uh, I mean, I can't even explain it. It's hard to explain because you have to go through it to understand. Um, but I felt like an angel, like it was so amazing. I was just praising the Lord, giving him all the glory, honor, and praise for what he's done for me, how he gave me his strength, his power, his Holy Spirit to overcome this wickedness. And, oh yeah, it was just, I just, and, and, and I praise Jesus every day. I give him all the glory and praise. I praise him every day and thank him for delivering me from my enemies, from, from delivering me from this wickedness, this, that addiction I had, that, that, and I just thank the good Lord. And I just want to keep telling my testimony because I get so excited of what the Lord has done for me. And, you know, and the Lord could do the same thing for you too, but you have to trust in Jesus. You have to have faith and, and, and keep going to him and repenting of your sins and begging the Lord to deliver you from whatever addiction, whatever you're struggling with. Give it to the Lord. You know, tell the Lord how you feel and, and, and that you want it out, you know, and, 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 you know, and keep repenting, you know, and of your sins and ask the Lord for his strength. You have to keep asking the Lord because I kept asking the Lord. You have to keep go to him and begging him and asking him to have mercy and to, to take that addiction, to deliver you from the addiction, whatever you're struggling with. But, you know, it's a fight. It is a fight. It's a fight. Now, I fought. I fought for my deliverance. I kept going to Jesus and begging him and telling him to take it out. And I really meant it. And I showed him too. I showed him by actions too. But you got to mean it with all your heart and show him that you really mean it. And he will deliver you. He will set you free. I mean, it is a fight. But we got to keep fighting the good fight of faith and having faith and trusting in him. He is faithful. Jesus is faithful. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to share my testimony again. And I could keep sharing it again and again and again because I'm so um, excited what the Lord has done. And I give him all the glory, honor, praise. And I just hope this helps people. I believe it will. And yeah, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. He is good. Shalom.